everyone, let's talk about product rule of differentiation. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Product rule of differentiation is involved if meron tayong dalawang function represented by u and v and both of them are functions of x. Ibig sabihin, kung gagawin daw natin yung pagdi-differentiate sa u and v na nakamultiply, what we are going to do is we will copy first u and then multiply it sa derivative ng second, which is v, plus we copy v, multiply it to the derivative of the first. Or, in simpler terms, we can just get u v prime is equal to u v prime plus v u prime. These primes here, sila ay tungkol sa derivative ng function na yun. So, i-apply natin ito sa first example natin. So, gamitan natin ng product rule of differentiation kasi nga nakamultiply sila sa isa't isa. So, to get its derivative, we will copy first the first function, which is negative x squared minus 10. And then, i-derivative natin yung second. Plus, we copy the second. I-derivative naman natin yung first. So, copy natin ito, negative x squared minus 10. Ang derivative ng second, which is x plus 4, we know that uh, based on the basic rules of differentiation, we can apply sum and difference here. Kuhanin muna natin yung derivative ng x, which is just 1, plus the derivative ng 4, which is just 0. So, 1 lang ito. Plus, we copy x plus 4. And i-multiply natin siya sa derivative nito. Again, pwede tayong gumamit ng sum and difference. Unahin muna natin yung derivative ng negative x squared. So, ang derivative nito, by derivative of power, this is negative 2x. And then, derivative of constant is just 0. And then, we simplify afterwards. So, ito, 1 lang. So, negative x squared minus 10 pa din. And then, itong 2x, i-distribute natin sa x, magiging negative 2x squared. And then, we also have negative 2x times 4, that is negative 8x. We combine like terms, negative x squared minus 2x squared is negative 3x squared. Isunod natin yung negative 8x bago natin ilagay yung negative 10. So, ito yung derivative ng example number 1. Ang ginawa natin dito yung product rule, tapos nag-simplify lang tayo after nating i-apply yung product rule. Next, we have the second function. Pwede ulit tong gamitan ng product rule dahil nakamultiply yung first function at yung second function. So, f prime is equal to first, which is 2x squared plus 5, Derivative of second plus second derivative of the first. So, copy muna natin itong 2x squared plus 5. Tapos, ang derivative nitong second, we know that 3x cubed, kapag kinuha na ng derivative, magiging 3 times 3, 9x, 3 minus 1, that is 2. And then, 7x here will just be minus 7. Plus, ito ay ikakopy natin. At yung derivative naman nito, which is 2 times 2, 4x. Tapos, itong 5, 0 na yan. After nating ma-apply yung product rule, next, we will simplify them. So, kung ano man yung i-require, sa atin dito, we have to be prepared. Tulad dito, sa first pair natin, kailangan nating mag-foil method. So, first term, which is 2x squared times 9x squared, that is 18x to the fourth. 
Next outer, 2x squared and negative 7, that is negative 14x squared. Inner, 5 and 9x squared, that is 45x squared. And finally, 5 times 7, that is 35 na negative. So, ito yung answer sa FOIL method doon sa first pair natin ng function. Next naman, sa susunod naman, itong 4, dahil monomial lang siya, pwedeng i-distribute na lang natin siya sa 3x cubed, magiging 12x to the fourth, minus uh, 4 times negative 7 is negative 28x squared. And afterwards, mag-simplify tayo by identifying the common terms or like terms na pwede nating pagsamahin. Itong 18x to the 4th at 12x to the 4th, pareho ng x to the 4th. So, pwede natin siyang makombine 30x to the 4th. We have here negative 14x squared, 45x squared, and negative 28x squared. Pwede natin silang makombine to form positive 3x squared. And then here, we have only negative 35. At ito na yung derivative ng ating example number 2. For example, number 3 naman, meron tayong involve na x to the 5th minus 9 over x nakamultiply sa 2 square root of x. Again, pwede natin gamitan ito ng product rule of differentiation. Pero bago natin siya gamitan ng product rule of differentiation, gawin muna nating exponential lahat ng terms dito sa given. So itong number 3, i-rewrite natin yung given as, syempre may x to the 5th, Itong x na denominator ng 9, itaas natin siya para maging negative 9 x raised to negative 1. Tuloy natin doon sa second parenthesis. 2. Recall that square root of x is just equal to x raised to 1 half. So, this is 2 x raised to 1 half. At ito ngayong restated na given, ito yung gagamitan natin ng product rule. In this way, mas makikita natin ng maayos kung paano gagamitin yung product rule. So again, first, the second, the second, plus second, the first. Kopyahin natin tong x to the fifth minus 9x to the negative 1. And then, this one, 2x raised to 1 half, kuhanin natin yung kanyang derivative. This will be 2 times 1 half is just 1. 1x, 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. Plus the second, 2x raised to 1 half, and then derivative nito. Ang derivative ng x to the fifth ay 5x to the fourth. Ang derivative naman nitong negative 9x to the negative 1, of course, negative 9 times negative 1, that's positive 9x, negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. And then, isimplify natin siya. Sa first pair, pwede nating i-distribute yung x raised to negative 1 half. I-multiply natin siya dito, tapos yung exponent nila ay i-add natin. So dito, meron tayong x, 5, and negative 1 half. So i-add lang natin sila, or 5 minus 1 half, kasi negative na siya. And then minus 9, x, negative 1, minus 1 half. So, dito tayo magkakatalo ngayon kasi nagsisimplify tayo ng mga terms na ang involve ay negative or fractional exponents. So, basta alam natin yung loss of exponents, masisimplify natin ito. Uh, going further, we have 2 times 5, that is 10. X raised to, add natin yung exponent, 4 plus 1 half. And then, here we have plus 2 times 9, that's 18. x raised to negative 2 plus 
one half. Isimplify natin itong mga exponents na to. We have x raised to 5 minus 1 half, that will be 4 and 1 half, minus 9, x, negative 1 minus 1 half, that will be negative 1 and 1 half. Saka na natin ilagay or going improper fraction mamaya. 10, x, 4 plus 1 half is 4 and 1 half, and then 18, x, negative 2 plus 1 half, that is negative 1 and 1 half. Makikita natin na itong x raised to 4 and 1 half ay similar dito. So, pwede natin silang ma-add. Add natin yung coefficients 1 plus 10, that is 11, x raised to 4 and 1 half. And then, ito namang negative 9 x raised to negative 1 and 1 half ay same dito sa part na ito dahil pareho sila ng exponent at ng variable. So we can add them. We will arrive with plus 9 x raised to 1 and 1 half. Oh, this should be negative 1 half kasi negative nga naman yung ating exponent. So careful tayo dun sa mga maliliit na symbol because it will affect the answer natin if hindi natin ilagay yung mga symbol na yun. Afterwards, sa next slide, i-continue natin. I-simplify natin itong mga exponent na nakamix number. So continue natin dito again. Our Derivative is 11x raised to 4 and 1 half plus 9x raised to negative 1 and 1 half. Paghiwalayan natin sila para mas maayos, uh, hiwalayan in the sense that ganito. Yung x raised to 4 and 1 half, gawin natin x raised to the 4 times x raised to 1 half. This is possible because of the rule of exponent or the loss of exponent natin. Next, ganun din dito, x raised to negative 1 times x raised to 1 half. Tapos lahat ng mga naka 1 half, gawin natin square root. This will be 11 x to the 4th, ito magiging square root of x. Plus 9, itong ating x raised to negative 1, alam natin na kapag negative 1, ito dapat ay nasa denominator. Tapos, uh, positive 1, di na natin lagay yun, automatic na yun doon. And itong x raised to 1 half, positive, so maiwan siya dito sa numerator, gawin natin siyang square root of x. And ito na ngayon yung ating final answer for example number 3. So, ganyan tayo gumamit ng product rule for differentiation. Basically, madali lang talaga yung pattern ng product rule. Nagiging mahirap lang if may mga ibang techniques pa tayo na kailangang i-apply para ma-simplify yung answer after nating gamitin yung product rule.